Yeah. Spirit of, of Kentucky Avenue. We're going to honor Sonny Lee for the work that he's done. Everybody just hold hands for a minute. Oh. Dear God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the spirit. We thank you for Sonny Lee, yes. who's been a soldier on the battlefield for you for many years. God, we ask that you just continue to bless him and his family. Yes. We ask that you bless the spirit of folks who worked and enjoyed and visited this, yes. this famous town, this famous city. We ask Son, uh, that Sonny continue to be the humble servant that he is, that you give him power under control, and that you continue to bless his family and everyone assembled in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Um, I, I have to say, you know, this corner, I grew up with an afro and pigtails and now this look, but it has always been like a home away from home. And, and what I love most about this uh, historical marker you'll see in a minute is it has one date on it and it's Sonny's birthday. And because it doesn't have a death date on it, to me, means even more. Important. So um, we're not going to be long here. Um, there's some folks, there's dignitaries here. Um, please, I see Councilman Delgado, um, Councilman Gilliam is here, Council President Marsh is here, Councilman Smalls is here, Councilman Randolph is here. If it's anybody I'm missing, raise your hand. And Sunny Hill, yeah, we'll, we'll get some. And Council, uh, Freeholder Elect Council, uh, Councilman used to be Corsi. <laughs> but Council, uh, I want to keep calling him a Councilman. Uh, Freeholder Elect um, Corsi is here. Um, um, I did see Wick. Is Judy here? Is Judy Ward here? Okay, I see Wick Ward. Um, I don't even want to start because what I'm going to do is mess this thing up by calling names. I need Sonny Hill to make his way up front too. Um, I know he's in the place somewhere, so Sonny Hill, please come up. There's a lot of thank yous. Um, Gary Hill, thank you so much. Eddie Lax, thank you so much. Um, I, I really dropped the ball on this whole event so many times, and Councilman Gilliam got in my butt. It was kind of like basketball, and I was fumbling the ball, dropping the ball, but guess what? I did something. What'd you do? I made the perfect pass, <laughs> assist, and, and Councilman Gilliam slammed uh -oh. on. Well, I'm, glad you said, I'm glad you said you made a pass. I, I made a pass. Because Gene Hutchins can only shoot. Okay, well, I, 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 I made a pass, so um, at this time, I would like to bring up Councilman Gilliam. Uh, Frank, where are you? Thank you. Thank you for staying on me. You know. And if you have a few words. Yes, yes. Um, thank you for everybody coming out to support this guy who I call a friend, mentor, and a father figure. Uh, since the first time I ever got a haircut, this has been the only gentleman who's cut my hair. But one thing I can honestly say about this person, he's one of the most selfless, human being that you could ever meet. Yeah. He does not want any accolades, he does not want any fanfare, and for that I had to do this because it was befitting upon me to allow myself, a student of his, of his tools, to give my reverence back to someone who's still alive and what Nanel said made the most sense. Give him his roses while he's That's alive. Right. Yeah. 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 See how much everybody appreciates him. So true. I'm going to close by saying this. A leader is someone who's inspiring someone to visualize, someone to do more and see more. This guy has actually helped me do all of those things and so many other people in the community. He's taking kids on, on his own dollar. That's right. All around the country. When I was in college, I could rest assured that I was getting a food package or a visit from this man and I did not have to basically, you know what I mean, ever go hungry without actually having sunny. But to this day, man, I love this guy. I appreciate you. and. Um, that's all about it, man. All right. All right. All right. I, I also want to, um, even though he introduced me, I still would like for my mayor, your mayor, right. to have a few words. And uh, please, this will be your, is this your last official uh, whatever? For the, for the public. <laughs> for, the, for the public, for yes, the, but not be. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll speak on behalf of all of those who Sonny has reached out, put his arms around, 
help to lead, help to inspire, help to guide. Uh, even those who some in this community perceived as castoffs or castaways. There's no junk in this town. Right. And Sonny made sure that kids from schoolhouse apartments did not go hungry. They still come in every day looking for cookies and dollars. And Sonny has never turned anybody down. Uh, education is something that he believes strongly in. Uh, Frank has already alluded to how many people he has helped get through school. Uh, there's a couple of people. Um, I don't want to embarrass anybody. Here's Willie. Willie Glass. Willie Glass. Mm -hmm. uh, Sonny was like a surrogate father to Willie, yeah. Ralph Tally, and so many who've come through this community and who've made us all proud and done well. In part because Sonny put his arms around them and helped to guide and inspire them. So on behalf of all of those people in this city that Sonny helped to inspire and helped to keep on the right track to become something of themselves and made us all so proud, I say thank you. At this time, I would like to call some of the grandchildren that are here to do the unveiling. Um, they're gonna. All right. Hey. Hey. I'll read that. Uh, <laughs> Sunny Hill, you you the commentator. You yes, Sunny Hill. Hill. You know, just read that. No, I'm sorry. Professional. Born is in uh, Caswell County, North Carolina, raised in Danville, Virginia. More importantly, over the years, Sonny has mentored countless of young people and spoused a plethora of whoa, a plethora. Excuse me, Howard Howard Cosell. He he popularized that word of community events. Let me pause right there and say, even though I'm from Philadelphia, I'm from Atlantic City. Yes. Can you say Mayor Ushery? Mayor Ushery adopted me. Yes. Forty Point Hudge, and a lot of you don't even know the name Bill Money. Bill Money was a basketball player who helped me build another persuasion Say who could play. Come on up. Come on up. No, 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 no. I'm gonna finish by saying this. I'm gonna let you do what you're gonna do. You were on my radio show Sunday, right? Yes. And we spoke. Yes. And we talked about the things that you normally wouldn't talk about. And here is a copy, four of them, from my radio show to you, and you can play in your barbershop, and you can come and listen. <laughs> I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is well deserved. Playing varsity basketball, John and Lance in high school, dropped out of school in 1952. Uh, I cut hair at Lux Barbershop and hung out in the streets. I joined the, joined the Air Force January 2nd, 1954. Mm. Basically trained at uh, Samson Air Force Base, Geneva, New York. Went to school in Amarillo, Texas, Amarillo Air Force Base, Texas, for jet mechanic. I left Texas for Castle Air Force Base, Merced, California. Uh, while at Castle, I went to Alaska, Amarillo Air Force Base, for two months TDY in 1956.
The next three years, I lived between Danville, New York, and AC. I'm the better one. I'm the better one. I worked as a bus boy at Child's Restaurant uh, in Nike Pork Inn in AC. I worked at Jenkins Barbershop in the Bronx. And I worked at Wise Barbershop in Danville. In 1963, I started at the Mayflower Hotel in the Empress, uh, Bell Hotel in Dolman. Uh, I got fired from the Empress in 1969. And February 1969, I started at the bar at Little New York Barbershop, uh, that's 42 North Kentucky Avenue. That was the start of my career in the block, K1 the Curve. Uh, about a month later, uh, I moved across the street to Grace's Little Belmont. 43 North Kentucky Avenue. Four years later, it recently became Sunny's Barbershop. The shop is right ne next door to Golden's Bar, Grace Little Belmont, and right across the street from the famous Club Harlem. Larry Steele and the Smart Affairs. This was the place to be. Everybody had to come from this block. If you came to Lion City, you didn't come to this block, you didn't come to Lion City. <laughs> I've seen a lot of famous people come to this block. A lot of musicians, a lot of players, hustlers. I guess you call them hustlers. <laughs> yeah, they're hustlers. That's what they were. <laughs> also in this block, uh, you had steak houses, barbecue joints, uh, rooming houses, sub shops, cool halls, shoe repair shops, real estate offices, game room, laundromat, dry cleaners, soul food restaurants, parking lots, clothing factory, gambling joints, street numbers, drug store. Well, uh, I hope I didn't miss any one because there's a lot of stuff. Uh, I would, uh, at night sometime when I leave the shop, I would put a chair up front and just sit there, watch the, watch the sights, listen to the music from uh, Belmont and uh, Club Harlem. There was a lot of musicians who used to come through this block. Uh, a few that stood on my mind was uh, Bill Doggett, I uh, played the organ, uh, cut his hair a couple of times, and uh, he stayed in touch until his death. Also, Slacker Wade, I cut his hair. And I uh, also remember Cooling Games, uh, I guess they were just getting started, and uh, Sister Slade or so when they came in. High Five White. It was good. He come in the shop and tell the jokes that he used to tell about Club Harlem. B.B. King was a regular, he's come to Belmont yeah, because he's a friend of Grace, the owner of the Belmont. He lives in and, uh, sit in, kick him oh, in the Okay. Uh, Robert Davidson was also a regular, he's a friend of his dad. And I was told that Rob Bill uh, took the organ out of the church to go to the jazz. Robert Davidson, uh, back in the 40s, right? Mohammed Ali King. Great. And Aaron Barkley, the fight Barkley got cool. I got cool with him. And uh, Carly Soup Williams, he, uh, he really got cool with him. And, uh, I'm crazy, man. So many people that I can't name all of them, but it's been a long time, I guess. This is 44 years in this block. And, uh, and uh, my all-time favorite is uh, Chris Columbia. Chris Columbia, uh, Columbia. Columbia. Chris, Columbia. Chris, Columbia. best love in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mention that Chris mm -hmm. because he can take you back when the club had first opened, you know, you can tell you about everything. Chris, I think, when he died, he had to be like, oh, he was 99, uh, I don't know if he was 100 or something, I know he's 99, 99 years old. Now you put him in the corner, tip up to, Mrs. Johnson, he had the best hot dog in the world, put him in the car, yeah. dance bar, go the movie, go the movie theater, Chuck's Chicken, George the, George the Hedder, Shushan John Adams, George Barber. The winner of that was on the court of Kentucky and uh, in Artie. And on the other side of Artie going north on Kentucky on the right side with Mom Soul Food at Beachy Shushan Stand, uh, he's also played off of that too. So that's the two blocks at Marvin Soul Food, which is good food, just as Barber Shop, there's a bell bottom into the block, and the famous Ice Corner. In this block, uh, I've seen the good, bad, and the ugly. Mm. Right now, it's ugly. Mm. Yeah. 
I don't think it'll ever get back to like the way it was, uh, but I hope so.